is going to cost UConn a lot more than expected to leave the American Athletic Conference and join the Big East. The two reached an exit agreement that will cost 17 million. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins was on the UConn campus to see what students think about that price tag. Kind of a quiet Friday here on the campus in stores, but big news all around and people are talking about it. We're talking about big money too, $17 million and we found people to talk and not everybody is saying, well, whatever the school wants to do is fine with them. I mean, the real problem came when they uh, didn't uh, join the rest of the schools in the Big East to begin with. I mean, this is the, they're fixing a mistake that they shouldn't have made in the beginning. UConn Athletics has been losing money in recent years. Extensive travel within the conference has been draining the budget. Proponents of rejoining the Big East see less travel and renewed rivalries. I'm happy. I think it's going to be really exciting for all the sports, and it's going to get more people to go to games and pay attention to you know, the athletes. UConn is paying $17 million because the school is leaving earlier than the contractual 27 month notice. So the conference will keep the roughly five to $6 million UConn would have received from the ACC television money over each of the next two years. Then UConn must come up with the rest of the roughly $6 million due. If that will be helpful for them in being more successful, then I guess it's okay. But if, as long as it doesn't put us more of in a hole financially because tuition has raised every year that I've been here. The move to the Big East will leave the football team playing as an independent for the foreseeable future. A visiting BYU student just happened to stop by to give Huskies fans an idea of what that might be like. I think they've kind of gotten worse in their view in their football team, and so it's a little bit more difficult for them to have, like, um, for them to win the challenging games, and so they end up just doing this the, the easy ones, obvious wins. So I feel like it's not as entertaining in that way. We're just not getting the people in the seats for football anymore. Uh, the students are subsidizing, and so are the taxpayers, the football program. So I think we have to ask ourselves a lot of hard questions. UConn itself isn't answering any questions today outside of what it put out in a press release. We do know that it's official, and UConn joins the Big East July 1st, 2020. In stores, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.